Hey guys, Kyle McMahon here. I am here on the lawn, the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol for the 30th anniversary of PBS's National Memorial Day concert. I uh, love your entire body of work, and I've, I gotta ask you though, there's not many people that can say that they performed on a track with the President Barack Obama. Wow, yeah, how, what was that like for you? <laughs> it was crazy. It, it was a. Uh, Obviously, a song that I'd sung, you know, quite a few times. Right. Uh, so it was refreshing to, you know, see it in a different way, a different light. And then uh, when you, you add 44 into the mix, it, it guarantees to be a, a, a neat experience. Yeah. And it was that. And it was, I, I think I read it was the only uh, chart hit featuring a president ever in history. How about that? It's, it's I, like being, I like being the, 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 the backup singer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So you are here once again for the PBS, the 30th anniversary of the National Memorial Day concert. What does that mean to you? Anytime I've had the opportunity to stand on the stage um, and just pay tribute to the men and women who, who do so much for us, uh, it, it, it's kind of the easiest uh, yes, that anyone will ever get from me. Um, we often, t you know, I, uh, look, I, I sing and dance and act for a living, right? But there are jobs out there that are way more important than that. And and if what I do can be of service to those men and women who do that, well, then then I think it's it's there's no there's no higher calling for me, and there's no instance in which um, I feel that as as uh, as someone who can is just contributing something a little bit that's more meaningful than what I normally get to do right yeah. and so back for career wise um, you're doing a project or you've just finished a project with Ava DuVernay right How about it when they see us yes I'm, I'm really excited for that and I had a tiny part in Selma mm -hmm. with okay. uh, with which she directed yeah. and she treated every single person she is such an incredible woman and I wanted to know what your take is on that working with her especially on a project like this which is it, I, in my opinion, a very important project. Uh, Josh Jackson, who is also starring in the movie, um, he said it best uh, recently. He said, you know, she creates an environment of love and, and, and requires, has a very high expectation. Um, she, she sets the table for you to uh, enjoy where you are and, and when everyone feels valued, they feel invested in a very personal and different kind of way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she expects that you would do your best. And that's exactly what that project was. It was, it's moving. It is uh, uh, stark. It is hard to watch in certain at certain moments, but it's absolutely important uh, that that this story is being told at this time, uh, at this moment in time where, where we are. Yeah, and and I love that she is such a risk taker. She's not afraid to 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 do pieces like that, which is not only important for art but for culture. You know, I think if you look look at things through a cultural lens, you can sometimes miss the significance of it quite literally. I, th I think that it can be reductive sometimes to, to see it just as, oh, this is a hot new thing that's happening. Right. The story is 30 years old. It, 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 is, a, it, it is truly a dark moment in, in, in our society as a whole. Um, we saw six victims, you know, uh, at an inflection point in their lives. They will, none of them will ever be the same. The five young men and, and uh, the young woman who was attacked in the park and her life was altered forever. Um, I think that, you know, we, we, we can get lost in the sensationalism of those things and, for, and, and absolutely forget that there are real living and breathing people who are loving and living and suffering through these moments. To be able to tell that story with, uh, with an artist like Ava, it, it, it is the epitome of importance. It's, it's, it, is, it, is take, it is serious work and it's treated, uh, I think, with the utmost care. And I think that the, it'll reflect it when the audience is get a chance to see it awesome I can't wait to see it and just one last question doing work like this because you know I just got to thinking now that you've done Hamilton which is very similar in the fact that it's it's not just entertainment you know it's it's art and it's more importantly it's, it's been a culture you know conversation starter for conversations that need to happen mm -hmm. ha you know Hamilton was very much I mean think of all of the people that would have never gone and seen a Broadway play you know had it not been spun in the way that it was spun you were a hugely successful part of that and then the same thing with this are you choosing roles like that on purpose or or is it you know just kind of the universe that it's kind of happened that way 
I wish to God that I could say that I, you know, just sort of sit in my in my <laughs> in my office at home and say, uh, I'm going to do this part, not this one. Do that. It doesn't work out that way. I, I think I'm a living te- uh, witness to the fact that you put good out in the world, good comes back to you. Um, I believe that my path has been divinely ordered, and I have had the benefit of working with some of the most tremendous artists of, of our generation. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't say no when they come a calling. You know, I'm, I'm willing. My aim in this world and my life and in my career is to be useful, is to be of use, is to be of service. And, um, you know, whether it be Lynn and Tommy Kale or, or Ava or, or pick anyone that I've had a chance to work with, it's, it's always refreshing to know that I'm doing things that, have subs- that are of substance, right, that are, that, are, that are meant to say something, that are meant to, like, start a conversation that are meant to reflect us I, I think that that's the part to me that is is uh is where i just sort of throw my hands up and say you know thank you god for for entrusting me with these moments mm-hmm. and and i think it's also a testament to just knowing how to work with people you know I, I, more than more than the the product the finished product it's about being in the room for for the artists right it's about the hang it's about the the collaboration and the spontaneity and the trust that happens and the ability to just be as raw and as 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 available to the material as you possibly can be and and i feel that way when i'm performing on this stage or or you know in front of the camera hopefully behind the camera soon like my my aim is to just continue to tell stories continue to like celebrate the humanity in in in, in all of us and 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 what we go through i love that man that is so inspirational thank you so much for talking to me man thank you guys so much for tuning in today as always please give me love if you liked it like literally like the video uh and share with a friend subscribe if you want more content just like this i love doing this for you guys and that's all thank you for you know thanks